One second, people. One second. Answer me this honestly, is there a better riff that you can play in dadgad tuning? I don't think there is. I mean, given to flies in dadgad, but it's kind of noodly and tricky. I can't think of another one that is anywhere near as good as this one. So this week I thought it'd be fun to have a little look at some dadgad stuff. I've been promising it for a while, but I thought it would be useful to get some, some context and some useful musical examples before we have a little noodle. Um, and maybe try and write something ourselves, right? And um, see where that goes. But anyway, for now, Kashmir is what we're going to be learning by guitar god Jimmy Page. So, what is Dadgad? So, it's um, an open tuning where you're playing basically a D sus4. It's not a tricky tuning to tune to. You've only got to worry about three strings. The low E goes down to D. A, D, G stay the same. B string goes down to A, and the top E goes down to D as well. So you've only got to change three strings. And it's a really cool open tuning because it doesn't really have a sort of major or minor feel, so you can have a lot of fun with it. Sounds very sort of Celtic as well. So this is the gold standard though, right? So you're going to play um, this. So that's the intro, but then after that, the phrase starts. Just brilliant. It's a really lovely cyclical riff, right? So basically all that's happening is you've got this droning sound. That's all that's that happening there but you've got a kind of melody line. Basically, a bit James Bond, isn't it? Now I fret this with my little finger on the fifth fret on the A. So you're gonna play three, pause, then another three, with an added low D, low string was E, right? And then you repeat the same pattern, but then you move your first finger up one fret. And again. There I switch my fingers to my first and my second so that I can get to, you know, the, the higher um, melody note. There I'm using my first and my fourth. That's probably the trickiest bit. Getting that change clean, right? So once you get comfortable with the changes, it's just alternate strumming. And I'm using my thumb to mute the E string there, so I don't have to worry about what I'm hitting, right? So I'm aiming for the these four strings. Also, in case I overshoot, my first finger is actually um, 
muting the B and the E and the E string, or the uh, A and the D string now, right? The, the top two. But if they ring out, it doesn't matter. And I've d deliberately decided to do this on the acoustic because I just love how it, it rings out on the acoustic. So that should be pretty straightforward. Now the next bit's awesome. stuff isn't it and the chords are really really simple you're starting on the 12th frets you've got 12 on the on the top string open um, a which is the second string 12th fret on the next one down third string and you're gonna but I'm playing those with my second my third fingers because you're gonna alternate between So it's the same thing all the way down the neck, right? So you're going to start 12th position. I'm going from where my second finger is. And again, it doesn't matter if you play, play the whole lot if you want. But I'm generally aiming for the, um, the, the highest four strings, right? That's with all of them played. Super awesome, right? So, then down two frets, down to the seventh fret, okay, and then you repeat that same pattern. So it's one, two, three, 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 one, two, one, two. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then you got this run. 3-2-0 on the 4th string, and then back up the top, so slowly, bit there going back into the riff is it comes in part way through this and then you're back into a, a full um, riff right so you resume the other riff halfway through this chord position right so you only play three here So that's the only bit that might catch you out. And there's a transition out of this phrase. And that is, so you end up with a bar of 4-4. Four, four, then a bar of 3-4. And then a bar of 3-8, which plays this. Which is just 3-2-0. Zero to zero. All right, just on the D and the A string. So it's just an uh, A power chord. So one, one, one. Then you're gonna go up here and play. I mean, I'm playing 12, 11, 14 there. Just cause it sounds nice. I'm not exactly sure what he's playing there. I think he might just be playing 12 and 11 maybe. So not 100%, but I would go for that on an acoustic as well. And then you play another A at the bottom, right? rest while you get some lovely bonham fills and then again with the fill three two zero zero two zero all right a couple of other chords
repeat those rhymes. Uh, there is a bit of rhythm going on. But, I mean, you can barely hear it, so I wouldn't really worry what you're doing there. Um, but you're basically covering the whole fifth fret, and then you've got your third finger on the seventh fret on the G. You move it up two frets. I mean, it's very, very straightforward. Then, um, one other bit. That part, which comes in later on, I think, in the tune, um, you can also put in if you want. So that would come in like this. puts it in the song actually but I saw him do it when he was playing with Ed the Edge and, um, and Jack White which is just a brilliant video check that out they're like three kids it's amazing so you're basically going to play 12 11 12 then up to the 14 12 11 12 and then um, the ninth fret So I'm starting that on my second finger, and they're kind of with their respective frets, right? And then I'm moving my first finger down to play that. But if you include the E string as well, or the low D as it now is, and then you join back that chord halfway through that riff. And you start it halfway through that one. And that's it, that is the whole shebang. So I hope you found that useful. More dad gad coming, so you can leave your guitar tuned to this, so you won't have wasted effort there. See you soon. Cheers, bye bye.